You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. All right, what's going on, uh, Formula One fans and Formula One diecast collectors out there? Um, welcome, guys. This is uh, Richard Big Bri, and this may be something new for any of you guys who are my longtime subscribers. Um, we are going to be doing something a little bit new for uh, for the start of this year. Um, let's just say I have experienced a lot more of uh, different types of racing series, um, you know, throughout the past couple years now, you know, with IndyCar and NASCAR, and now I finally can say that now uh, I'm probably a fan now of uh, this type of racing series now, probably because of one certain driver as well, but it is going to be a special diecast review, probably a dual diecast review of some uh, really cool diecasts that I got from my good friend from David Land on YouTube. He got these on eBay for me and he got them for me for Christmas. So do you got to give uh, my good friend and, um, you know, the famous one and only David Land for uh, hooking me up with these diecasts. But today, guys, we're going to go ahead and do a diecast review, a dual diecast review of the Red Bull Racing Cars for 2016. We got Daniel Ricardo and Max Verstappen. Um, Red Bull Racing's um, Tag Heuer uh, RB12 uh, 143 scale diecast models that we got from uh, Burango. So a uh, lot more different. This is definitely already looking like a different diecast movie that I'm usually used to because we are doing a 143 scale, guys. And these are a little bit more bigger than um, the 164s that I usually review. And they are smaller than the 124s as well. So they're kind of in between that range. Um, well, I think they're, uh, what, the, what this diecast, I think, take a 132 and a 164, that's where the 143s fit in. So um, don't know exactly what quite the measurements are, but there's always Google. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and look at this box, guys. So see right there there is uh this is what the boxes look like for the Brango diecast and uh pretty cool right there we got um you know all the usual uh, stuff that we get for boxes but i uh, decided to show this off because as you guys know this is my first time and we got max verstappen right here the 33 so um you know that's really cool right there we got um you know some more branding on the back and um yeah, this um, this is actually made in China, but Barango is actually a company that is in Fontana, California. So that is pretty cool, right there. For any uh, NASCAR fans that know about the Fontana, uh, about Fontana, then uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. We got Max Verstappen, Dan Ricardo, and the Barango logo, 143 Red Bull Racing Formula One team, and then we got uh, my favorite driver in F1. Um, Dan Ricardo, guys, so pretty cool right there. But I'll give you guys some reasons why I like Dan Ricardo. But without further ado, guys, we're gonna go ahead and unbox these two diecasts. We're gonna get a closer look at the uh, 2016 Red Bull Racing um, cars. All right, buddy, we back. We unbox these two cars, and um, this is gonna be really interesting diecast for you guys. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. But here are the cars out of its box, and. Um, yeah, guys, pretty cool looking diecast that we got right here. As uh, these cars are, um, you know, Formula One diecasts. So, for any guys who probably do not know, then uh, yeah, these are Formula One diecasts and they are 143 scales. Um, you know, well, let me point out my IndyCar and show you guys how big these cars are. These are 164 right here, and then there's the 143. So, you can see right there, um, just almost there, you can see right there, this whole uh, front end right here for the F1 diecast. Um, makes it a lot more longer and it's a lot more taller as well but um yeah guys we're going to go ahead and look at uh, my favorite driver daniel ricardo i'll give you guys some reasons why i like daniel ricardo well i like his personality so maybe that's a, that's probably one thing right off the bat daniel ricardo seems like a really cool guy to hang out with um you know i've never really seen a mean bone in his body after observing some of the races um i mean what i have started watching formula one now i think uh starting in 2017 um I guess you could call me a bandwagon whoever it is but um but yeah, pretty cool car that we got right here, guys. Uh, this is the, I think, the RB12 model. So um, this is uh, the 2016 car. I am well aware that they got the 2017 cars now out. But if you guys do enjoy this review, I'll be happy to upload the RB13 2017 uh, diecast. I'll get both scales and we'll uh, do a little comparison of that because you guys know I love doing diecast comparisons for you guys. But we're going to look at the details right there. So right off the bat, guys, this does have rubber tires. So that's a really cool feature that I got right there. Um, and most of the die cast is made out of metal, which that's pretty cool. Um, but um, I know notice that um, um, this is kind of like what Spark Models does. Um, if you guys are well know them, they are very highly detailed and uh, die cast models. But they are actually they are actually models and not die cast because they don't have rolling tires and they're meant to be displayed and not be um, you know rolled around and played with. But yeah, so if you are looking forward to get a Red Bull die cast that you know you want to move around and uh, you know kind of show off and do a cool looking die cast review, then these Barango die casts are pretty cool. Um, but the Spark models are a lot more accurate and they have a lot more detail to them. 
But um, yeah, we do got plastic uh, wings on the front and the rear. So I uh, would watch out for that. These are also plastic as well, these little uh, uh, fenders right here. Um, you guys could probably tell me in the comments uh, if you guys are huge F1 fans what these are. But um, as you guys know, I'm pretty new to them, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> but um, this is something new I decided to do, and um, I had a lot of confidence to uh, put this review up for you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. But we also got the Pirelli P0 tires, and these are the soft tires, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty cool right there. And uh, the <clears throat> bottom of this car is holding together by screws, and it's all plastic on the bottom as this is a 143 scale, and it looks like that might be a DIN number, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, so we got um, 11,710 on this Dan Ricardo car, and on the Max Trapper car, we got 11,713. So fairly similar numbers that we got right there. But um, yeah, guys, and we also got a matte finish to this as well. Um, that's something new that they did for the uh, 2016 season, and they continued it with 2017 with the RB13 cars. Um, and they also dropped the uh, Infinity as well, guys. It was known as the Infinity Red Bull Racing Team. But um, then Tag Heuer and Aston Martin, uh, well, Tag Heuer stepped up in 2016 and 2017. And now for 2018, uh, it's going to be known as uh, Aston Martin, which we got that logo right there. They're going to be the main supplier and sponsor for the Red Bull Racing Team. And looking forward to that, even though I'm not looking forward to the halos that we got for next year, guys. That's something uh, that really kills a big open wheel racing fan like myself. You guys know I'm a huge fan of IndyCar, and you know that's some really cool open wheel racing that we got right here in um, the U.S. But Formula One is definitely a really cool uh, sport. Now I'm really glad I got myself into it. Hopefully this video will encourage you guys to um, you know maybe get these diecast, and after that maybe you can start watching the uh, Formula One season. But we're gonna be looking at both uh, Daniel Ricardo and Max Verstappen's cars. As you guys know, these cars are very similar, but except right there, you can see that the numbers are different. As you guys know, number three is for Daniel Ricardo, and 33 is for Verstappen. And pretty cool that we got both these diecasts because both these diecasts uh, did want a race. Uh, what they got like 16 podiums in 2016, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, each of them won. A race uh what was it uh verstappen won the um sp the uh, spanish grand prix and um again ricardo won the malaysian grand prix so uh, i guess you'd call these uh <laughs> raced version cars even though i don't think barango makes a race version cars but i know spark does and mini champions does as well um but um yeah and there's uh, some other differences as well we got the names as well so ricardo's right there and max verstappen and then the 3 and 33, of course. Uh, I noticed that the T-Wings are supposed to be different as well. They're supposed to be a different color for each driver. But I guess Barango, what they decided to do is that they made the same model of um, whichever car they produced first. So whether it was the Cardo or the Verstappen car. And they just slapped on different logos where the 3 and 33 was and the names as well on the side. But yeah, the T-Wings or whatever these are called right here. Um, an Indy car, I'm familiar that they're called, um, you know, the um, camera... Uh, um, camera pods or whatever but um feel free to comment below what, what those are but um i just call them t-wings for short <laughs> because they look like a t but yeah they're supposed to be different colors um so you can di di differentiate from the drivers but um yeah they, these are some really cool die cast guys and hopefully this video will encourage you guys to go and pick up these cars if you're a big big red bull racing fan like myself i would recommend any of these um like I said, guys, you know, I mean, I know they're 143 scales. They're going to be a little more different and not, you know, can't really race them well with your 164s. But I still would recommend them, guys. And, um, you know, they're really cool to display with. And, um, you know, it's, if you can't afford the Spark models, these cars are pretty affordable. I mean, I think you can get uh, both of these cars for at least $20 with free shipping. Um, from what I know, but um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very special diecast review of these Formula One diecasts that we got for Red Bull Racing in the 2016 uh, season. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a good comment, like. If you guys have not already, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel for any more of the latest uh, NASCAR reviews, IndyCar reviews, or heck, even Formula One reviews, guys. Um, hope that this video is going to get some good ratings. If it does, then um, maybe I'll do a part two for the uh, for the RB13 uh, 2017 cars because those have just, I think those just got released now. So um, as you guys know, that's going to be a different mold, and looking forward to that, guys. But um, for now, guys, this is a Bridge Rip Ride. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in another uh, diecast review.